I'm wrapping up the last of the changes to the P40 in preparation for Flight Fest 2018, and I wanted to share the final piece of the process, resetting the CG. So with smaller aircraft, there's loads of ways to test a CG, but when airplanes get larger and heavier, one of the most reliable ways is the Vanessa rig. So the setup of a Vanessa rig is actually really simple. You have a series of lines. In this case, it's a single line or single rope wrapped under the front of the fuselage, up and around the hanging post, and then back under the fuselage behind the wing. Uh, there's other ways to string up a Vanessa rig, but I found this to be the easiest and most reliable. Uh, these lines, along with a theoretical line that runs through the wing, create a triangle. And when the airplane is level, the peak of the triangle, top point, sits directly above the center of gravity. So you can run a simple plumb bob down from your hanging post to measure the CG. For almost all aircraft, you're going to be setting your horizontal stabilizer level. So I use a very small bubble level for this. I get it as level as I can, leaning a little bit toward uh, tail heavy, and then take the, the bubble level off. You've got to remember that that bubble level is actually adding a little bit of tail weight. And uh, depending on the size of the aircraft, even that little bit of tail weight can be enough to shift your CG. Um, if you have a laser level, that's a great option. And frankly, your eyes are going to get you close enough for most stuff. My hanging post is a half inch dowel friction fit into a 2x2 two two block of hardwood with a hole drilled from our lifting line. Uh, the friction fit is important because you are going to be twisting this dowel to adjust the length of these two lines. Uh, when you wrap the lines around the, the dowel, you want to make sure that you make the mirror images of each other so that these lines are extending and contracting the same on both sides of the aircraft. If you notice that you're adding a twist or a roll when you twist this dowel, uh, you've probably got your lines strung wrong. So you've got your Vanessa rig all set up. How do you use it? Well, I like to put a small piece of painter's tape on the surface of the wing and then use a T-ruler to mark the CG location or the range, depending on the designer's recommendations. Um, then, using the lifting line, I lift the airplane just off the surface of the stand. You can lift it higher if you want, but if something fails, it has further to fall. Once the plane's suspended, I put my level on the tail and twist my dowels until the horizontal stabilizer is level. I can then run my plumb bob down from the dowel and determine where my CG is located. I don't leave my plumb bob permanently attached because it's heavy and it can damage things if it bangs into the plane or falls. So once the plane is hanging, I add or remove weight as needed and continue the process of twisting the dowel and setting the stabilizer level until my plumb bob points to the exact location I want. I like to check things on both wings, but if you have everything set up appropriately, it should be exactly the same. Then you're ready to go. So, some final thoughts. Always check the CG in the exact configuration you would fly. For us electric guys, that means with the flight packs in. You fuel guys can probably get away with doing it dry because hopefully you've got the fuel tank on your CG and it's not going to shift much on you. Um, you need to take into account the layout of your landing gear. In the case of the P40, the gear retract toward the tail. So I need to set my, my CG with the gear retracted. Um, when they come down for landing, I'm going to shift to a little bit nose heavy, but that is much preferable to shifting tail heavy when the gear come up. You want to make sure your lines are not sliding or shifting. Um, obviously, you could damage the paint, but more important, you want to make sure that you don't throw the geometry here off. Um, I wrap, that's why I wrap the lines under the fuselage instead of under the wing, because I've found that it's easier to make sure that they don't shift. If you do find they're shifting on you, use a little bit of painter's tape to secure them. So, that's it for the Vanessa rig. I strongly recommend anyone getting into larger planes take the time to make one and get familiar with it. Um, Time put into a plane, it, it seems to increase exponentially with size, and you don't want to risk your hours, months, or even years of work to a questionable CG. If you're like me and you scratch build a lot, you might not always have the right CG, but it'll always be where you thought it should be. So thanks for watching.